Hi viewers, my name is Sirisha. Welcome to my channel Dream Life Diaries. Today I am going to take you on my home tour. It's actually a 4 BHK villa, but we have converted one of the rooms into a home theatre. So we have made it into a 3 BHK villa with a home theatre. Why wait? Let's take a quick tour of the house, interiors and the decor. This is the foyer entrance of the house. To the right you can see a small hanging decor to the wall and a shoe rack below that. This is Italian marble that's placed on top of the shoe rack. We have one shoe rack placed here apart from the one placed outside the door. The entrance is very elegantly decorated with stone cladding along with a mural. We didn't want the woodwork to dominate the cladding work. So we just added a horizontal wooden shelf with drawers basically to place some decor items. Here you can clearly see the artwork of the mural. Here I kept some decor items on this wooden rack and an urli with flowers. These flowers act as natural perfume and keep the bad smell away. Now let's move to the living room with attached dining room and kitchen. Here are some paintings hung to the wall on the right side. I have ordered these from Amazon. You can check out the links mentioned in the description if you are interested to purchase the similar items. And this is our aquarium with colorful fish. Goldfish, zebra fish and sucker fish. You need to choose the compatible ones which can co-live together without killing one another. Sucker fish eat the dirt and keep the tank clean. And this aquarium is sitting on a wooden shelf specifically made for it. Here is one other decor with an artificial plant kept on a nicely carved stand. This one is the family picture taken during the housewarming ceremony of this house. This main wall in the living room facing the entrance is completely covered and decorated with a wallpaper and a wooden structure. Here is the complete view of the living room and the attached dining which are minimally decorated to make it look spacious. And Italian marble flooring is given for the entire living and dining room. There is a four-seater coffee table next to the sofa which is mainly used to play games and for a casual family chit chat. You can pull the seats out when needed and push them inside to save the space at other times. You might have seen me and Boovie playing games on this table in the other videos. This is a L-shaped artificial leather sofa with a center table placed in the living room. The two chairs at the both the ends are manual recliners. You need to pull the flap to expand it and relax and then push it back to close it. And there is a beautiful metal wall art hung to the wall right behind it. I have purchased it online from Decor Company. You can check out their collection of metal wall arts at decorcompany.com if interested. Here is the TV unit right in front of the sofa. The seating is very well planned to have the optimal distance to view the screen. The entire woodwork has veneer finish with vertical stripes theme in both the living and dining hall. Even here in the ground floor, we have a partial home theatre setup with surrounded speakers apart from the home theatre in the second floor. Here is the partition which separates the living and the dining with spotlights and nicely decorated. This is the dining hall with a dining table and a wooden crockery unit. As I mentioned earlier, we have this vertical stripe theme followed in both the living room and dining hall. 
you can see those vertical stripes in the dining hall ceiling. This is the balcony right next to the dining hall. We have a small powder room in the balcony here. We have a small backyard where we have planted some fruit trees and leafy green vegetables. You might have seen my backyard earlier in the other gardening videos. Let's move to the kitchen and utility area. We have placed the refrigerator here between the dining and the kitchen. It's a 4 door 531 litre hair refrigerator. Let's take a closer look at the kitchen interiors. On the left side there is a tall unit with inbuilt microwave and oven. Both are from Faber brand. I use microwave just to quickly heat the food or drinks and the oven for baking and grilling. This one is my favorite clay water pot which is a savior during summers. This one is Atta and bread maker from Kent. This is cold pressed juicer from Kovings and a mixer. All these are placed on the granite platform. This one is Faber hob which is permanently fixed into the granite and a Faber chimney. White and greenish blue high gloss laminate has been used for the entire kitchen to get that shiny finish. Here is the under the unit water purifier unit. Only the drinking water tap will be visible and the entire unit can be placed inside. On the other side there is another small unit with a closed shelf and an open shelf with two bamboo baskets fixed. I place the wet grinder on this granite platform. And there is another closed shelf on top of this. This is the utility area which is very compact. There is a wider wash basin where the utensils are washed daily with a closed shelf underneath it. We usually place the garbage bins inside this shelf. And a dishwasher and a washing machine are placed on the other side. There is also a small area under the stairs behind the TV unit in the ground floor which we are using as a storeroom. We have fixed the wooden doors to keep it closed. This is the lift unit in front of the staircase which can accommodate two people at a time. We don't regularly use it but it's super useful when parents visit us. This is all what we have in the ground floor along with two car parking outside. Let's check out the first floor now. It's a triplex villa with two more floors and a terrace. Each floor consists of two bedrooms and one living room. This is the staircase leading to the first floor. This is the living room in the first floor. Both the living rooms in the first floor and second floor have marble flooring. This is our working space. This is the standing desk which can be adjusted as per your height. This is the sitting desk. I keep alternating between the two to avoid sitting for longer hours. We have some closed shelves and bookshelf above the working desk. We got the painting done to this wall. And there is a puja mandir on the other side of the wall. We have a master bedroom to the left side of the living room and a kids room to the right side of the living room. Both the rooms have attached bathroom and attached balcony. This one is the master bedroom. Well equipped with a cot, cupboard, wallpaper to the main wall, a dressing table and a personal TV unit. And it has got wooden flooring done. It has attached bathroom and attached balcony. This is the bathroom in the master bedroom. We have a steam room on the right side and a jacuzzi bathtub on the left side. It has come with all the features like jets, whirlpool and bubble bath. This 
This is the kids room. The most colorful room in the entire house. We have got the frozen theme wallpaper done to the main wall of this room as my daughter is a big fan of Elsa and Anna. This room has a cupboard, a cot, a cubby hole, a study table with an attached bathroom and balcony. She is very organized and obsessed with cleanliness. I like the way she decorated her room with butterflies, her pictures, arts and crafts and soft toys. Let's move to the second floor now. This is the living room in the second floor. With a fall ceiling, marble flooring, a bar unit and a seating area. This is the guest room which is only occupied when our parents or any other guest visitors. It's very spacious with a cot and a walk-in wardrobe, attached bathroom and attached balcony. This is the walk-in wardrobe next to the bathroom. We had the similar structure even in our master bedroom, but we removed it and extended the bathroom to accommodate for the bathtub. Let's go to the home theater now. We have converted the fourth bedroom into a home theater. This is where we spend most of our time during weekends or holidays. It has got the acoustic panels for soundproofing and echo-proofing, a 120-inch widescreen, surrounding speakers and woofers, an acoustic curtain to cover the balcony French window. This was originally the fourth bedroom which has been converted to a home theater. Automatic recliners made with genuine leather. And the last part of the house, terrace. This is the staircase leading to the terrace. Check out my gardening videos to have a look at my terrace garden. Hope you enjoyed my home tour. If you like the video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Thank you.